Hello everyone, Monster Rio 11 here, and I got this the other day in the mail. I'm going to be showing, or review, I don't know, reviewing or showing, I guess, my uh, John Cassavetes 5 Films cri uh, Collection, or Criterion Collection DVD set. This is not the Blu-ray set, this is the DVD set, because the Blu-ray set is too expensive. I got this for about 38 bucks plus shipping, so that, I mean, that wasn't, it wasn't a terrible price, but still, it wasn't cheap. So, first of all, we can just look at the ca uh, cover which is pretty cool, but yeah, this is my, like, third, I think, I think this is my third Criterion, uh, uh, DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, my collection, I mean, like, I have the American Lost and Found, the BBS story on Blu-ray, well, this is my first Criterion DVD collection, and then I have Rosemary's Baby Criterion collection on Blu-ray, and that's it, this is my third one, even though this is older because it's from, it's the DVD format, this is, like, from, like, 2005 or something, I don't know, but, Anyways, there's the spine or whatever. Eh, voice crack. Um, and then there's the the top, and then same, pretty much the same. It's just they just say the names of the films, and there's the back of, the, of it. So, no, it's not really important or anything, but and then you get this little this out, and you will see that it's all like the names or uh, the titles or the. Oh yeah, the titles and the names of the films that are concluding the set. So first, let's see what we get first. First we get... Let's see. Alright, we get the uh, booklet. Which I'm not going to be reading this all. Maybe you could just... Uh, Yeah, it's just pictures, and it's just... I mean, I'm not really going to be reading that. I mean, like, I'm sure other people do that, but this is just the booklet, and then it's just basically just saying things about it, but this would just take forever to read it, so and I can't really show it very well on the Canvas camera, and this is all I have, so... Anyways, this first film is Shadows. This is what it is, the case right here, and it is from 1959. See the back right there? And, uh, um, it is black and white, and it is 81 minutes long, and it is rated PG, uh, PG, it says PG, right there, as you can see, and, uh, just open it up, and it shows the chapters, there's a disc, there's no artwork, which is weird, because the Blu-rays had, like, some kind of artwork, or blue, the Criterion Blu-rays I have had some artwork in them, so, or on them, whatever, so, yeah, there's, uh, not much to say about shadows, and of course there's a spine or whatever. So, shadows. The next film we have is Faces, from 1968, and this film is 130 minutes long. It's also in black and white, and this film is rated PG-13, as you can see right there. It's PG-13. Sorry, can't really see it. And this case is bigger than because this case. Unlike the other one, this case has two discs, as you can see right here. I can show you right there. And then again, no artwork, so one of them is the supplemental features, and then the other is obviously the film. And then it's also, it's got that, as you can see right there. Oh, shoot. Um, like the artwork and everything. So, that's Faces. There's a spine. See how it's thicker than the previous one. So, Spaces from 1968. Next film we have is A Woman Under the Influence, which is probably his most famous or his most well-known film. And this one is from 1974 and is 147 minutes. Pretty long, actually. And this, this film is rated R, so this is his first R-rated movie in the collection, I guess. Or maybe his first R-rated movie out of all. As you see right there, it's rated R. And, um, and the cover is pretty cool. The artwork and the cover, I mean. And, yeah, so, it's the back again. And then, let's go ahead and look at inside, and then again, as well, I mean, there, none of these have artwork on them, so, yeah, so there's a woman under the influence. So, there's a woman under the influence. And then the next film we have 
is the killing of a Chinese bookie. And this is another thick uh, cover, and I'll tell you why. Oh, I'm sure you probably do know why. This movie, this film has two cuts. Each one, like, one, I'll tell you in a minute. But this is the killing of a Chinese bookie. In this film, um, there are two different versions. There's the original 1976. Uh, the 1976 cut, which is the original cut, which is 135 minute, 135 minutes, and then there's the re-release cut, 1978, which is 108 minutes. So it is a shorter version, which is weird. They say that the original cut was actually a box office failure, so they shortened it. I guess they took out unnecessary scenes or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, and it does have some wear on it, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's got some wear. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. But yeah, this film is from 1976-1978, the two versions. And then this film is rated R. And yeah, the 1976 version, again, is 135 minutes. And the 1978 version is 108 minutes. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and just open this one up. Which is another one of, which also has this because it's got two discs. And one disc has the 1976 cut. And the other disc has the 1978 cut. So, and then there's the chapters, of quarter chapters. Just like the others. So, and then there's the artwork. You want to see the artwork again on the back, on the side of it. So, there's The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. And then, next film is Opening Night. And this film is 144 minutes, and it's from 1977. It's in color. And I don't remember if I, uh... Woman Under the Influence and The Killing of a Chinese Bookie were... Both, yeah, are both in color too as well. So I forget. I don't know if I, I could have said. I don't remember. I forget a lot. So, and this movie is another is once again PG thirteen. And these movies were made before the PG thirteen created uh, PG thirteen rating was created. So they probably just re rated them later on. They probably were. I don't know what if they ever were rated. I don't even know. If, I don't know if they were ever released in the U.S. at first. I have no idea. But anyways, I like the cover art in this one as well. And there's the. Spine, and then there's the back again. You want to see it? And yeah, it's in color. It's 144 minutes from 1977, PG-13. And there's the, there's the inside. There's a disc. Opening night. So there, there was the chapters, of course. But this doesn't matter. Okay. And then this is uh, the last disc, and this is not a film. Instead, this is a constant forge. The life and art of John Cassavetes, or Cassavetes, I can't really pronounce his name. Um, this is like a documentary, I believe, and this is 200 minutes. It's from 2000 and is in color. And there's and there's the back. And then there's the disc and then the chapters. So I don't know if I'll, I'll probably watch this last. I'm obviously going to watch all his films first because I honestly didn't really buy it for that. So... That was just, that's uh, the whole, there you go, that's the whole John Cassavetes Criterion Collection DVD. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching, and bye for now.